Okay guys, so in this first episode we are going to start with Exorcism's first Hello World example using Rust, so let's get into it. So in this first version of this little series of mine, I'll simply show you how I set this up so that we can start learning Rust together or sh taking on these challenges. So the first and foremost thing to notice here is that I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is going to be my editor of choice. I have installed Rust, this plugin here, which is support offic the official extension to Visual Studio Code for Rust. And apart from that, I've also used Brew to, or well, homebrew basically to install Rust up dash init, which will help you set up your environment so that you have all the things that you need to do Rust development basically. So, with that said, apart from that, I've also used the default build task to let's see here. I'll actually show you. So, I've set up this task runner here so that. I basically have this command cargo test so that whenever I run or I hit command shift T which is my key command for running the tests I can actually just instantaneously run the project tests of this little well, well this little demo project here and that's about it really so this is what I do or rather this is what my setup that I use in order to progress through my rust education so let's just walk through this very briefly because this first video is going to be very basic. So first step is to use cargo and then run cargo test which we've already done using the command shift T. Like That's not a command that is in by default I just set, up, set that up myself. You can have a look at how to do that yourself or you can just run cargo test manually. You can go and do like cargo test manually from the folder and it's gonna do the exact same thing right. Anywho so what uh, the expected output when you just start without modifying anything is that you're simply going to run the test and the, re the tests are going to fail. So let's look at those tests. So this is the first challenge in Exorcism's Rust course and basically all it is is that you have this unit test here which is going to do an, uh, use the assert equal macro which is basically just expecting that hello the create hello world and the hello function on that crate is going to return the string hello world with an exclamation mark. That's all there is to it. And so inside of this lib folder here we see that we find a function, a public function called hello which is going to return a static string and that's simply going to be, I've, I've changed this to hello world. It just, it used to say goodbye world and now it's just saying hello world and that makes our test pass. And so I submitted it. Now that's basically all there is to know about this first challenge and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.